So Ooh. we had uh, uh, on on the PS4, uh, the, the the Naughty Dog guys released an open uh, beta for the multiplayer of Uncharted 4 during the weekend. So it, this last weekend? Yeah. So okay. it was available from March 4th to March 6th. Okay. So uh, Friday to Sunday. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I played it. And what do you think of it? It's good. Okay. Like very, very good, and and I know that Uncharted is uh is uh it's mostly like a single player series. I, mean, I know I know the the previous games had a multiplayer portion, and they were good. But people mostly play the Uncharted titles out of uh out of wanting uh this single that this big movie type single player experience, yeah. right? And I mean, obviously, on the multiplayer beta that was available last weekend didn't have that. Because it was only a multiplayer beta, but man, it was good. Cool, like, I, I what can you compare it to? So, I mean, yeah, I, you, you haven't played this one, but I, it's I found it very similar to the Last of Us multiplayer, okay. but more fast paced, like way more fast paced. Um, it, it so the, the beta was uh, had only a team deathmatch portion, okay, and it was a five versus five. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was 5, 5v5, five five, uh, 3 maps, okay. 3 maps were available on the beta, all 3 of them were good, I think so, uh, uh, one, one particularly more than the more than the other 2, but uh, I felt that all, of that all 3 maps were balanced enough, I didn't feel that there was any kind of uh, disadvantage or any kind of unfairness okay. in the design of the game at all, and I had a lot of fun with it, it it's... It's it's basically a third person cover, kind of a cover shooter based uh, multiplayer thing, a, a, sh- a shooter shooter thing, but it, it also had a lot of um, like fantasy stuff. Like you could like when, when if you're playing and you you you, you kill you kill you kill guys and stuff, and you get points, and you can also find gems lying on the map like random, and all of this stuff that you do in in, in the in the in the match uh-huh. give you points. And with these points, you can uh, you can summon different abilities. Okay. So if I get like I don't know like eight hundred points, I can summon like a big like a big guy with a big machine gun uh-huh. and a lot, of, a lot of armor and just like murder murder anyone, right? Right. But it didn't feel unbalanced because like really, if I just summon it and left that guy alone in seconds, I got a, like a, a notification that it, that that guy was okay, killed. Died. Okay. Yeah, like, like like he was down and. And um, other abilities were more like a fantasy style. Like you could summon, like I don't know, like a like a totem or something. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, like a weird stone, a weird like a weird stone, <laughs> and, and that that just shoot like uh, like I don't know, like kind of like an aura, like a like a purple thing that was following enemies and making damage. Sort like, of like a turret. Yeah, sort of like a turret, but not like a, like an actual like ammo turret, right, but yeah. more like a like a thing that was in the middle and just like like shooting like ghosts. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to how to call this, and and following people and, and making damage, and it, it it had it had an area of, uh, of effect, right? But yeah, it had a lot of different uh, of these different uh, things that you can play with, nice. and it had classes. So, so depending on the class, I mean, it, it was similar to a Call of Duty game where you can make your own class, and in the class you can uh, choose like your your main weapon, your secondary weapon, and your your perks, okay, and your abilities. And I mean, you you can be you can choose to be a scavenger, or you can grab ammo out of uh, downed enemies, right? Or you can choose to I don't know to to have the ability to summon this thing. So I um I use the ability to always to summon this guy that the big the, yeah, machine big gun machine guy because uh-huh. uh, I, I just thought uh, he was so effective. Especially especially if the entire team gather around him to cover him. So that was that was like a a very, very good combination. But I, I love that the maps were designed in the sense that always I mean if uh, always you have to be uh you have to pay attention to your back. Because I mean, maybe the five of us are like in, are in control of an area, mm-hmm. and suddenly, like one or two guys from their team can just like uh, turn around, like um, I don't know, uh, what's the word, like uh, to flank, to flank us, okay. uh-huh. so they, they could they could flank us and get and get on get on behind us and just throw a grenade and we're done, right? Right. And that was that was very very cool. So anytime anytime you down an enemy, it uh, you down it, but it didn't die. 
So that guy had the chance, had like a, a 10, 15 second uh, time span to move, to move slowly and be revived by another, okay. by an ally. And in that time, you can, uh, you could down, finish him off. You, you can finish oh, him. Okay. Yeah, you could finish the guy. So you had a chance to, uh, to get points for downing and for knocking out. So okay. you had, you, you had uh, like two ways to make points, right? To make progress. Right. And also, and, and, and what I like is that the time that takes to revive a down ally isn't really fast at all. I mean, it takes, I don't know, like, I don't know, like five seconds. I, I don't, well, five seconds in a multiplayer fast-paced match is a lot, right? So, I mean, I right, remember it yeah. felt like it was significantly enough to make you think about really doing it or not. Right. Because... Uh, you put yourself at risk, right? Because you could be reviving a guy and you are exposed yeah, to someone right. just uh, looking at you. And, and that was so funny, right? I remember, I remember when, when, you, when you caught an enemy reviving, uh, uh, reviving another enemy and you, and, and you just start them like, uh, like reviving. I mean, you, you see the opportunity, <laughs> right? So you just cook a grenade and whoosh, you go. And it was, it was so fun. And, and, nice. you, and you take both of them in, in, a, in a shot. Man. I don't know, I had I had fun. Granted, I didn't play a lot of it, but I I did play a good I don't know, um, ten fifteen matches, of the multiplayer. Right. I think a, a bit more. And yeah, I mean I had a lot of fun. I don't know I don't know I mean, I don't think uh, nobody's buying this game for the multiplayer really, but I had a lot of fun. I like the movement. I felt that the movement in the game feels good. It feels good to move your character. It feels nice. It feels right. responsive. And that's the most important thing to me, especially in a third-person action game, the movement. And uh, I think that uh, this is something that we kind of take for granted many times, because not many games really achieve good movement, I think so, in, in a third-person environment, and Uncharted 4 does. And that's awesome. That's very, very good. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, by the way, the game looks awesome. Like, it, graphically? Oh, yeah, no, I, it's, I wouldn't expect any less. It's, it looks great. Right, It, it right, looks right, right. very, very good, and it sounds good, too. Hmm. Yeah, the, the sound mixing, I thought it was very, very good. Cool. Very interesting, very, very interesting. I I mean, as you said, I haven't played, uh, I, I don't own a PS4, I, we've said this before, and uh, I'm really, again, hoping Uncharted 4 to bring me to the PS4 side of things. Uh, as you said, I wouldn't really. I'm not that interesting in the multiplayer. I I don't. I, I'm gonna play the, the game for the for the first for the single player. Sorry. Uh, and hopefully, I mean, if it's good, if it's any good, if the you know map design is is good and enticing, and the community uh, stays you know in the multiplayer, I might try it. Cause uh, the danger I see in, in in this is you know the those exact same uh, thoughts and opinions I had for the um, Metal Gear multiplayer. For the okay. M M uh, MGO uh, Metal Gear Online, and uh, you know, on paper it looked very cool. And you know, the first trailer came out, and the first—I don't know if there was a closed beta or not—but at least the first, you know, glimpse at the multiplayer came out, and I was like, okay, this is very cool. You have those stealth mechanics, you have different classes, you have uh, big elongated maps with very cool, uh, you know, several paths uh, leading to different places and whatnot, and that looked very cool. And at the end. Even though it wasn't bad, but it was not that great, and people just didn't stay with it. They yeah. just played the multiplayer and then moved on, and that's what I'm afraid could happen with Uncharted. Granted, it didn't happen to The Last of Us, because I, if I remember correctly, I read somewhere that you know that that community playing that game online really lasted for a long time. It, 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 they were still playing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and still. not just that, the things like um, Mass Effect 3. People sti are still playing the, the multiplayer for Mass Effect 3. Really? Yeah, today? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, today, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. And I mean, that's another good example of a, of a multiplayer aspect in a game that was not really uh, focused on any multiplayer things at all in the previous iterations of the game, uh, Mass Effect 1 and 2. And they added it on the third one, and everyone was like, okay, yeah. what's this? Why? That's weird. Because you got to, you know give assets to the multiplayer side, right? And, and stop using them in a way in the in the single player side of things. But it ended, ended up being very good and it ended yeah. up being a very nice multiplayer experience. And I had a, uh, I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Was and very good. it had integration with the uh, first, uh, the single player, sorry, campaign in terms of if you did good in the multiplayer, you had more 
uh, resources for the yeah. end game at the end. Also, and also cool. I agree that uh, that integration with a multiplayer and single player Mass Effect 3 was done poorly. I think so because mm-hmm. it was just so necessary. I mean, you could mm-hmm. get that just by playing everything in the single player. I mean, by doing all the quests. Right. But yeah, I mean, I, I remember that the multiplayer in Mass Effect 3 introduced something that the game didn't. And that was the ability to play as different species. Right, yeah. So I just loved playing as an Asari, for instance. I thought it was very, very cool. And I mean, yeah, I mean, you're right on point. On Chapter 4, yeah, the multiplayer is something uh, extra, right? Right. But I think that it's it's very good. To, it's, it's cool to see an extra done right. Right. And yeah. I think that it's it, it's on that track. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's just hope that it is done right. Like, uh, I mean, you tried it, right? I haven't. But I, I, I don't want to be, you know... I don't want it to be in a position in which they took those resources and work on the multiplayer at expense of the, the first single of the single player. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't play uh, the multiplayer portions of the previous uh, charter games, but I've heard uh, good things about them that they're good, very, very good. Okay. So I mean, I'm not that worried about this one. And besides, it's Naughty Dog, right? So I mean, yeah, Naughty Dog is one of those studios that you can, that can really be trusted. Trust. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, they made the, the Last of Us uh, a multiplayer portion of the Last of Us, which right. I mean, I uh, uh, when, when I when I initially thought of it, I didn't picture it. Like, how can you make a multiplayer thing out of this? And it, it's good. And it's it very good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, th- I think I think um, they can manage, and I think they managed. And uh, the beta was very very good. One of the best uh, betas I played in a, in a long time. Cool. So, yeah, I think cool. it's it's. It's very good, and, and I love that and, and that uh, every weapon in the game felt very, very differently. Nice. And that's that's I love I love when the games pull that because uh, it, it sounds easier yeah. than it than it than it actually is to, to 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 pull that, and they did, and it's awesome. Cool. And you know what? On top of that, I, this is uh, maybe not as much, but this is more of a beta yeah. uh, rather than a demo. That we were talking about the division last time, right? Yeah. A very very. Uh, uh, not similar, but they both had betas for the games. But, you know, the Division beta came out, what, three weeks before the game yeah. uh, comes out? Which is coming out very soon. Oh, it came out tomorrow. It, it, came, it came out yesterday. Yeah, yeah tomorrow. Yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this, in this case, we just said it, May the 10th, right? Yeah. It's the, the release date, the initial release date for the for Uncharted 4. So they still have a couple months. And in, during the, those months, they can, at least for the multiplayer, they can tweak a little bit with the yeah. balance, with, you know, yeah. uh, nerfing wep- weapons or, yeah. or uh, you know, giving them uh, a little more of a, a balanced yeah. touched touch. Uh, so, yeah, this serves more of as, a, uh, as a beta rather than as just a demo for people yeah. to try and, the I game mean, and, and to be honest, I don't think that it needs to balance anything, really. I mean, I thought the game was very, very well balanced. And, right. I mean, granted, I didn't play enough. I didn't went into deep analysis mm-hmm. of the of the different, uh, for instance, the damage per second of all weapons, right? right. I mean, I, I'm sure that people have done it already. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can uh, call me out for that. But uh, I, I don't think there's much work to be done in that sense. I think it's uh, it's and a very good track, and I'm looking forward to yeah, me to too. its release me too, me too. on May 10th. Yeah, very soon. Yeah. Mother's Day. Mo- oh, right. Yeah. It's Mother's it's Day. It's a good gift. <laughs> <laughs> For your mom. For your mom, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, hey, mom. <laughs> I'm, four. Four. I'm gonna try it out for you. <laughs> Man, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Except no one ever. Right? <laughs>